Hi, I'm Tony Lestoria with Indians Prospect Insider. Uh, this is IPI on site. I got Bryson Miles here, the Lake Cleveland Indians, playing for uh, Lowey Lake County this year. Uh, Bryce, thanks for coming on uh, our weekly show here. Starting off the season, you guys, you know, you guys have a couple weeks in the season. How are things going for you so far this year? Uh, so far this year, uh, started out a little bit, a little rough. You know, it's just kind of one of those stretches that I went through. I stayed in the batting cages, you know, kept trying to figure stuff out, and you know, I feel like I'm really starting to find, you know, my timing with the pitcher, and you know, really starting to find my swing. And you know, now a couple games here, you know, in a row, you know, I've been hitting the ball well and had a lot of, you know, been putting up good numbers to show for it. You know, first full season. What's been one of your biggest adjustments so far? I mean, it could be this season or even last year, uh, as far as moving into pro ball. What's that biggest adjustment so far? The hardest thing to me is just that that day to day process. You know, in college, you know, you kind of get to wake up, you got to go to class, you get to relax most of the day. But, you know, here, you know, you're at the field five, six, seven hours before game time, and you're working the entire time. So it's just really more about getting yourself into that routine and being able to own that routine because I think where a lot of people or a lot of players, you know, make the mistake is, uh, you know, they really don't get themselves into a pretty good routine, and they don't they don't really know how to go about that day-to-day process, and it starts to wear on you in your body. Yeah, and, and speaking of which, you actually, this is your first full season. Now, last year at this time, you weren't even in pro ball. You know, you're in college playing Stephen Austin, you know, raking in, you know, the homers and the stolen bases and all that stuff. Uh, t- tell me about, like, that whole experience, uh, how, how how different it is now. Um, you know, you're barely a year in the pro ball, whereas last year, isn't it kind of weird when you kind of look back and have time to think about it, that you were playing in college? Yeah, it's, it's totally different. Uh, one of the biggest things, you know, college, you kind of have everything laid out for you. Here, now you're in pro ball, you know, it's your career. You have to be able to take control of it and, uh, you know, go about your business the way that, that you know how to. Because if you don't, you know, you may be forgotten about. Yeah, and, and, you know, last year this time you were probably getting ready for the draft. I mean, draft right now is only six weeks away. Uh, can you, do you kind of recall that whole uh, – I guess what do you remember from that whole experience? You know, obviously some positives, some negatives from it. And ultimately, you know, the whole idea is just to get drafted. Uh, what was kind of your whole experience leading up to the draft and at the draft? It was one of the most stressful times of my life. You know, it, you know, you – First of all, you got to go to class, and then after class, you know, you may have a scout call you, hey, can you meet me here, fill out this questionnaire, ask these questions. Then, you know, you still have to go to practice, and then you have, you know, guys recording you, filming you, wanting to talk to you during and after practice. So, you know, it's really a, a, a tough process, but, you know, definitely once it was over, I was glad to be a Cleveland Indian. Well, and you actually got to go with it, you know, along through the process with your brother. I know that, uh, you know, he's younger than you. He's in high school. Um, you know, he was picked by the Pirates or whatever, and and, uh, you know, a couple rounds after you. Uh, explain that whole experience going through that with him and then ultimately going through the whole signing process. Did you guys have anything uh, – did you guys come to some agreement where both of you were going to sign or, or none of you were going to sign or did it really matter? Well, it was – you know, for me it was a situation where I knew I wanted to sign. But for him, you know, he was out of high school. He still had three, four years of college that he could have went to. And he was actually planning on going to a junior college. So he had – you know, he was dra- he could have been draft eligible this year. But uh, it was, you know, it was a great experience to be able to share that with him. Uh, he, it was kind of was a situation where we didn't even really know he was going to get drafted, and he got picked up. And uh, I think I was more excited for him than I was for myself whenever I got drafted. And uh, you know, the whole signing process, you know, obviously for me, I was there at Mahoning the very first game, so I signed pretty quick. But for him, he went all the way down to the deadline. So it was, you know, while I was up you know, here in Northeast Ohio, he was down there in Texas trying to get everything settled. And uh, you know, I'm just getting the news. You know, every single day, you know, of where he was at in the signing process, and so it was, it was really stressful for me because I wanted him to sign because I know that he has the abilities too. But, you know, it, whenever it was all said and done, he ended up signing. I was more than happy for him. Yeah, and you know, you know, with him being, do you guys still kind of keep in touch? You know, obviously, do you, how often do you guys talk during the week? I mean, well, what's he up to right now? It's, uh, I mean, we talk every single day. It was a little tougher when I was in spring training because he's in Florida. You know, we were three hours apart. So it's a little tougher to talk, but now, you know, I'll text him or he'll text me every single day, and uh, we'll talk on the phone about once, twice a week. But he's doing great. Uh, he's still down in Florida. He didn't break camp, but he should be up at State College this year. You know, he's swinging the bat really well. Obviously, you know, he has a speed. You know, he's been stealing a lot of bases. So, you know, I can only hope for the best for him. Uh, we have a, a chance for some brotherly battles on the baseball field in the near future, huh? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> now, you know, going back to last year, you know, obviously you broke out of the draft and, and you went to Mahoning Valley. First uh, taste of pro ball, you're there. I mean, you signed right away, which is always a good thing. You know, the Spanish guys, you know, for obvious reasons, kind of hold out a little bit. But you know, you got that, you know, sixty some games down there. You got that first experience out of the way. You know, you know, uh, the feet got wet. 
How did you feel about your season last year? I, you know, I loved it. Uh, you know, Coach David Wallace, he was a great first manager for me to have, and I'm, you know, even luckier to have him again for a second year this year. Uh, he, you know, he really helped in, you know, making me the player that I am today, and he's really helping in the process of making me the player that I can be, you know, two, three years from now. Um, you know, it, it was great, you know, and I, I met a lot of great guys last year from the draft and then also guys from previous drafts that were at Mahoning last year. So, I mean, I, I have, you know, nothing but smiles about my time at Mahoning. You know, I, I, no, right now you're playing outfield. I don't think you really kind of settled in on where you're going to play in the outfield. You kind of – I know they want to try out center field because, you know, it would be great to have your bat and your speed out there. Um, you, know, you can play center – you can play left field and right field. Do you have a, a spot that you prefer or is it just one of those things where, hey, wherever they want to put me or wherever they want to develop me, it's fine? I mean, I, I love center field. You know, I love being the commander out there. But at the same time, you know, it is one of those situations where, you know, if they want to play me in left, they want to play me in right, they want to play me in center, you know, I really don't care. I know that every single day I'm going to go out there, I'm going to give it my best. And if that's where the organization wants me to play, then I'll be more than happy to play there. What's maybe one of the biggest challenges out there? I mean, I, you know, everybody's learning something. You know, if, 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 you weren't, if you weren't challenged or anything, you'd be in the big leagues, obviously, you know. So is there like a – I mean, a challenge may be a strong word, but, you know, I mean, it's something you're working on. Uh, right now, you know, just because of the fact that right now, you know, we've had a couple injuries on the team, it's really more about communication because, you know, whether I'm in center, left, or right, I never know who's playing, you know, to the left of me or to the right of me. And, you know, you have to diff you have to communicate with different players differently. And, you know, you have to understand another player's, you know, zone uh, compared to somebody else. So that's really been the hardest thing is just being able to, you know, having to learn my teammates and, you know, knowing how they play their position as well. Well, what about the play? How are you feeling up there? And is there anything you're kind of, like I said, kind of working on there? Uh, right now at the plate, you know, it's really about, you know, having much better at bats. Uh, I talked to Coach Jimmy Ricone and also uh, Wally, uh, Wally. You know, it's really just about having great at bats every single at bat. They preach, you know, don't give away at bats. Um, you know, and that, that comes from, you know, swinging at pitches out of the zone and also, you know, not swinging at pitches that are good pitches to hit. So, uh, and I, you know, I feel like I'm having, I'm really honing in on that, you know, here lately. I've, you know, I've put up great numbers here in the past week or so. And so I think if I can just keep developing in that aspect of the game that, you know, I can be, you know, there's no telling what I can do this year. You know, it's early on in the season. Uh, you probably set a lot of goals for yourself this year, uh, personally and uh, maybe publicly in some ways, you know. Is there anything that uh, that you want to share as far as any kind of goals this year in mind? I mean, it doesn't have to be level or stats, but you know, obviously everybody's got a couple goals in mind, right? Uh, yeah, you know, my main thing is, you know, I just want to be able to go out there every day and just, you know, play my hardest. You know, it's, it's. I know in the past it's been a couple games where I've just been like, oh, man, you know, I really don't want to play today. And it, it can show out there on the field. But my goal this year is to go out there, you know, no matter how tired I am, you know, go out there and give it my all. Because, you know, that to me, you know, I, I would feel much better if, you know, if I gave it my all rather than if I just went out there and just kind of, you know, went through the motions and, and uh, you know, didn't do what I was supposed to do. I right, well, hey, uh, th appreciate you coming on, and uh, good luck this season, okay? Thank you, Tony. All right, All right that's uh, Bryson Miles with the Lake County Captains, Cleveland Indians' sixth-round draft pick last year, and uh, that's a wrap.